What's going on YouTube? This is Jimmy with Two the Top Crane. Hey, I know this isn't a crane. This is a Cummins. That's what this is. This is in the truck that I drive every day. I'm gonna show everybody this little trick. Up inside there's a oil filter. That thing sucks. It gets oil everywhere whenever you uh, take that filter off. So uh, we're gonna try a little trick. We're gonna put this over it. So the filter's vertical in there. It's not Dodge's fault. That's where Cummins puts it. It's not Cummins' fault because that's where uh, Dodge puts the Cummins engine is in between these frame rails. So it's kind of a engineering deal of, well, this is where the oil filter is on our engine. And Dodge is like, well, this is where we're gonna put your engine. So that's kind of the only choice to have with the oil filter on Dodge's, on Dodge's side of it. So what we're going to do is I'm changing the oil in this truck. It's I, I run the oil about 8,000 miles. I run, run Rotella T6. I know some people say, well, that's a pretty short service interval, interval for your synthetic oil, but oil's cheap. Engines aren't. So I don't mind changing a little early. But I'm going to try to get my camera stuck in here where you can watch me do this. If not, um, I guess I'll just have to report the after effect. But I'm going to slip the Ziploc over that oil filter and then unscrew it and drop the filter into the bag. Um, last few times I changed the oil on this thing I've just gotten oil everywhere because the filter's vertical and it's still full of oil and it, it's just messy. So anyway I'm gonna see if I can get my camera set up and then we'll get this filter spun off. Okay so I just got the camera sitting on top of my tire hopefully I don't knock it off there. I'm gonna try to get this weaseled up in here and around this filter. Already got the filter loose, it should be hand tight. Okay, so it's a little more than hand tight. Let's see if I can get the filter wrench. I'm using this Matco adjustable filter wrench, it's got different ends you can put on it. Love this thing. So far, I guess it's catching a lot of it. It's not catching all of it. I've never tried this trick before either. This is this is new. The filter just came off. I've got it caught in this bag. I try to weasel it up out of here without ripping a hole in it. Otherwise, I just completely defeated the purpose of the bag. All right, so it's running oil everywhere. I saw this, I read this on a forum was supposed to be a hack. I think it's a pan actually. I was really hoping that would work, but that sucks. So in an effort not to get my camera all destroyed with oil, I'm going to shut it off and get it out of the way and get this filter out of here. So yeah, we got the filter out. You can see the aftermath. It just, there's oil everywhere. That bag trick didn't work out like I'd hoped. At least it's on concrete. I can pressure wash it, but 
you can see underneath the bucket. Honestly, I think it'd be easier just to throw down a big piece of cardboard, pull up on it, change the oil, let it let it do what it's going to do, and then throw the cardboard away. That bag trick just kind of makes it a pain. It's it's hard to get the filter out. Still didn't obviously didn't save any mess. So any of you guys contemplating the bag trick? I don't know that I'd try it. Just didn't seem to work out very well.